we've come down to the beach today to play with this thing. This is the MTF Services B4 to E mount adapter, and it basically allows you to use all your B4 mount two third inch glass on something like this, which is a PXW FS7. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means you've got a massive zoom range on these things. They were incredibly expensive lenses when they were new, so you've got the, the, the benefit of all the precision engineering, the optical quality, and the you know usability of these lenses now transferred to a 4K chip, which is pretty cool. Let's have a look in more detail. We'll take our B4 mount lens off here. Now we can see the adapter. So we've got the B4 locking ring on the front, and underneath we have this very handy stabilizer, this little mount, this little support for the adapter. And this is vitally important because B4 lenses are very heavy. And to put that sort of lens without any support on the E-mount would probably cause it to, you know, bend and break ultimately. So MTF supply this little uh, bracket here, um, which supports the adapter. Really, really good idea. Now, the adapter itself is actually in two parts. So we have this bit, which is the B4 bit, and you can see the optical correction in there, the little lens in there that does the magnifying and a bit of image correction. And we've also got this thing. And this is actually a uh, Canon lens mount. So you can put your Canon glass straight on there as well. So it's really useful. And then under there, of course, is our beautiful Super 35 4K sensor. I'll pop that back on. So you're pretty much getting two adapters in one, really, aren't you? Which is, uh, which is a bit of a bargain. And of course, with a little, one of those little slither of metal mounts, you can change the Canon into a Nikon mount as well for very little money. So uh, let's put our big lens back on and have another look at the images. The important thing to remember about this adapter is that it doesn't zoom in on your image. So this is a, you know, J11, so its widest point on the lens is 4.5 millimeters, which is about, I don't know, about 80 degree field of view, something like that. When you put it on here, on the FS7 through the adapter, it's still about 80 degree field of view, right? The widest end of the lens looks the same as it would, have, would do on a two third inch camera. This adapter takes the image circle that comes out of the lens and expands it to fill the Super 35 sensor. It only magnifies that image circle by 0.3 times and then it uses the lens's inbuilt two times extender or doubler to fill the Super 35 sensor. So we've got a really, really wide field of view and we can do a beautiful motorized servo zoom, smooth zoom in all the way to the end of the lens. And that's the other benefit of these lenses, of course, they are par focal lenses, which means they keep their focus throughout the entire zoom range. And that, again, is incredibly important. If you want to zoom whilst recording, as other sorts of lenses, you know, DSLR lenses and even the other Sony lenses, don't necessarily keep their focus as you're zooming. In fact, some of the, those with autofocus motors visibly lose focus as you zoom in and then come back in as you get to the end of your zooming, um, which is really annoying. And obviously, if you're doing something where focus is critical and you're going to be using the shot during the zoom, that's not good at all. So let's see another example of that. Now we're going to focus on something a bit closer. So this thingy here at the end of the beach. Notice that's in focus now, not too bad. And we're going to zoom out, and it's still in focus. What about something close? Let's, let's put my hand in here, and you think, oh, that's, that's in focus there. Let's zoom in. Oh, look, it's, it's still in focus, even the end of my fingers there. Zoom right the way out, still in focus. Isn't that fantastic? At the other end of the scale, you've probably seen these, which are the cheaper, you know, eBay 50 quid B4 to E-mount adapters, and yes, they're very cheap, and you'll notice that they don't have any optical correction or internal magnification. What does that mean for our lenses? Well, let's have a look. So now we've got the cheapo adapter on, and you'll see that at the long end of the zoom range, well, yeah, actually, it's fine, you know, it's zoomed in that image circle through the zoom itself on the lens, and the image circle is completely filling the Super 35 sensor. 
So we'll just zoom out here a little bit and see. And uh, 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 oh dear. So as you can see, we might have the telly end, but on the wide end, the lens is completely vignetted because there isn't that bit of magnification as there is in the MTF adapter that allows the image from the lens to cover the full sensor. So that was what the cheap adapter looked like with the doubler in. Let's just take a look at the MTF with the doubler off. That's, uh, that looks pretty bad, doesn't it? So we put the doubler back in and boom. Now, of course, this means that we can use this ENG TV lens to shoot 4K, which means, of course, that we've got a beautiful handheld camera suddenly, which, uh, you know, we always used to enjoy as TV cameramen with all the abilities and usability, ergonomics, that came with that. So I've got my hand where it should be, on the side of the lens, I can operate the zoom with my right hand. And we can focus and expose with the left, just the way it was designed to really. And of course, when now you've got these lenses on, you can use all the remote controls or demands that you used to with, with broadcast lenses. So this is a little very zoom, zoom demand. And uh, we plug that in under the bottom of the lens, clip it on here, and then you've got zooming and panning with the right hand and focus and exposing with the left hand as it would be on your shoulder. But now you're on a tripod and it makes everything a hell of a lot easier. So what MTF also supplied that uh, marries up perfectly with this adapter is this cable and it's a D-tap to lens power cable. So you just plug your, plug your lens into the cable and the other end into your D-tap on your battery if you happen to have the, uh, you know, V-lock battery adapter here on the back of the FS7 or whatever camera you've got and suddenly you've got your beautiful smooth fluid power zoom again and uh, I'll tell you that is that is worth its weight in gold for when you need to zoom while shooting as we said before doesn't lose focus and it's so so silky smooth Mar far more than you could ever get by rotating the zoom by hand so that's the MTF services B4 to E-mount adapter. I think it's fantastic. It's completely changed the way I shoot with large sensor cameras back to the sort of shooting I was doing with two third inch cameras. And you know, for a lot of the jobs I do, that is invaluable. So thank you very much to Alistair Chapman and MTF Services who developed the, the adapter together. It's, it's, it's fantastic and uh, there's no drawbacks to it really. Uh, there's a stop of light difference, I suppose, but you know, for the sort of stuff I do, that doesn't matter. And, you know, compared to the competition that offers the same thing, it's, the, it's a bargain. So thanks for that. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope that's been interesting. <laughs>